What's up guys, my name is Cal, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to play Highball Stepper by Jack White. Uh, it's a really crunchy riff, really fun to play. You do It does require you to play in uh, drop D tuning, which basically just means tune your E string down from E to D. Pretty simple. You can also look it up if you're confused. Um, but all the other strings say the same. Uh, a, D, G, B, and E. Um, so that's how you get that really low sounding uh, E string. It's actually D. Uh, but anyway, this song is really awesome and I'm really excited to teach it to you guys. So without further ado, let's get into the song. Okay, so the song starts off here on the, uh, the third, f sorry, the fifth fret A string. And then a hammer on with your first finger on the third fret A string. And then a pull off from that third uh, third fret A string to an open A. And a pull off is where you just pull down on the string and then let it go. That's a really bad sounding one, but uh, essentially that's how you do it. So. Uh, it's kind of tricky because he plays it really fast. That's how it gets that, so, I don't know, the sound sounds totally different on the recording. Uh, because he plays it so fast. So, all together. Just like that. And then you go to the 5th fret low E string. And again, this is tuned down to D. And then to the 3rd fret low E string. And then again, another pull off to an open E. Or an open D in this case. And uh, remember, there's no pull, there's no hammer on from the E string fifth fret to the third fret on the E string. It's a pick uh, instead of a pull off like the uh, the A string. So all together, real slow. Here's what we have. And now you're gonna want to practice that a lot and then speed it up until you get to here. Just like that. You can also pick the open E if you want. Um, and so that's the intro riff. Uh, he plays that like eight times, I think, and then he goes into this. And that's just um, fifth fret on the A string, third fret on the A string, and then back to the fifth fret on the A string. You play it like that, and then go to the um, the fifth fret on the E string to the third fret on the E string. Now he actually plays this twice, so it's that part's kind of tricky. It's so 5th fret E string, 3rd fret E string, back to the 5th fret E string, and then hit that again, and then land a final note on the 3rd fret E string. So real slowly. Um, and then that's the second part of the song. And then he has another part that goes like this. Um. Um, and that part goes, starts the same way. Fifth fret on the A string. Third fret on the A string. Then fifth fret on the A string and then an open E. And you do that twice. Then go to a, start on the third fret A string, then up to the fifth fret, 
A string. <laughs> And then start the entire riff again, uh, still on that fifth fret A string. And then he does, uh, which is just fifth fret in the E string to the third fret in the E string. And that's the first uh, little interlude. And the second time around, he goes up to the uh, the eighth fret on the uh, the high B string and slide it up to the 10th fret or bend it up to the 10th fret and then land in the 6th fret B string and you can do either the bend or the slide whatever feels comfortable to you so that whole section is like this Um, and there's that part, and then after he does that, he basically just goes to a power chord on the 5th fret A string, which is 1st finger, 5th fret A string, 3rd finger on the 7th fret D string, and your pinky underneath that on the 7th fret G string. And you kind of hammer that on. I think it's 8 times or 10 times, I'm not sure the exact number, but you can listen to it in the song. Just that, strumming that power chord. And then goes back into the... Which you already learned. He does that again, and then he goes, instead of uh, just strumming the 5th fret power chord, you take that same formation, bring it up to the 7th fret A string, 7th fret A string power chord, and you do the same strumming pattern. back into it. Um, and so on and so forth. The solo, I'm not even going to touch because it's insane. He uses an octave pedal which makes it really tricky to uh, kind of come up with it. It's, it's in the key of D. Uh, that helps you guys. But that's about all I can give you for the solo. Um, it's just really tricky. <laughs> Um, but that is the entirety of the song right there. You can go ahead and pick out the parts for yourself, listen to it, play along, um, and it should sound good. Make sure you have your E string tuned down to D, otherwise it will not sound right. Um, and then, of course, turn the fuzz up on uh, on your pedal or your amp. You know, turn up the gain a lot to get that really crunchy sound. Um, but that's it, guys. That is Highball Stepper by Jack White. I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, leave a suggestion for more songs down in the, dis uh, in the comments of this video, not the description. Uh, and other than that, hope you guys have a great day, and see you guys later.